Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship on this uh, on this Sunday, the excuse me, Epiphany Sunday, as we celebrate, as well as the baptism of our Lord. A couple of announcements today. First of all, welcome to all of our visitors. We do appreciate it. Thank you for coming. And thank you for braving braving weather up there. It's a little bit fun today. Well, it's Pennsylvania, it's Bradford. Wait a minute, it'll change. But speaking of the weather, today after church we have planned to, to put away our Christmas decorations and prepare the sanctuary for time after Epiphany. We're not going to do that today with the weather. I don't want to take that chance today. So after service today, please go home safely. And, you know, we will do a donut. That means you pay on the uh, donuts in the parking lot. <laughs> but at any rate, seriously, um, be careful while you're out there today. And we'll get this taken care of during the week. Um, the hats and gloves, again, thank you to the lady that keeps knitting. She must be knitting into a fervor. She brought the second set, and I will be heading over to uh, Mother Stacy, who will help get these out to the ministerium, to the stations, the warming stations downtown. And again, as always, folks, uh, for those that are donated to that, thank you. Thank you very much. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I did get my grades back, finally. Well, it's like a bureaucracy. You never know when it's going to happen. But I did pass both classes. I was still waiting on the final grade on one, but I saw my dean sent back my copy. And it, I did okay. I made it through some New Testaments out of the way. Now, evangelism and stewardship are out of the way. Next up, ethics. Yay. <laughs> and it, it looks like a page turner on my head. If you haven't gotten your newsletter, please make sure you take that off the back table today. That would be appreciated. Are there any other announcements? Anything from council? No? You're probably wondering, why am I not vested today? Okay, it's kind of unusual, but I promise it will make sense when I get to my sermon today. Okay? Just bear with me. I apologize. I know you're used to seeing me in white and white dress there. Let us begin to prepare for worship. Forgive us all our offenses and cleanse us from our 
Let us pray to the 
first reading is from Isaiah 43. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by my name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight, and honored, and I love you, I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now sing responsibly Psalm 25.
church at. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. At that time, as the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing floor is in his hand to clear the threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Jesus' baptism being counted as one of the children of God. 
which in this case, his case, he already is, quite literally, would not be complete without involving the Holy Spirit. Why? John's baptism of water signifies a death to oneself, or a death in sin, a washing away of that sin through our repentance. Now it's said in the early church, during baptism, being baptized in the river, one was held under water for a time to bring that feeling of death. And when they reemerged, that feeling of coming back to life, able to take precedence. A new life, a new lease on it, being reborn. And in this rebirth, we, the children of the Father, are marked as His. In today's first reading in Isaiah, the author reflects this this way. O oh, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the river, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. So once we are clothed in baptism as God's children, we are protected by Him. He, our Lord, protector and provider. We're no longer to fear, for God is with us to everything. But as John pointed out, this baptism of water is only a first step, and perhaps maybe not its greatest one. Yeah, we're clean. We belong to the Father. God created us and called us to be His own. We're marked by Him. Yet we're still sinful. God loves us. Yet we, we can't come home until atonement for that sin is made, and we cannot do that alone. Again, as we know quite well, God loved us so much. And even though he didn't have to do it, he provided the one, the greatest, and the only solution. So now being baptized not only marks us as God's children, but now baptized into Christ, we share in his death and resurrection. And in sharing that, that great sacrifice and gift, the gift, greatest gift ever given, we are forgiven and atonement. Baptism is the way God's family is marked on earth. Jesus, the first to receive the Spirit in baptism, and expand that out to everyone who receives the Spirit as an adoption, as becoming part of God's family, being one of God's children. Baptism is about belonging to God. Because of that, baptism also signifies belonging to a community. Baptism is about following Jesus. Because of that, it also becomes also about receiving the Spirit as He gives. So in Acts today, the people of Samaria, although baptized by Philip in the name of the Father and of the Son, through the acceptance of the gospel, were baptized further by Peter and John by praying that they might receive the Holy Spirit, in which they did after the apostles' hands were laid upon the Spirit. We see that Spirit serves as a proof that the Gospel has reached a new group of people. The Spirit does not seem to fall on everyone individually who comes to faith in Jesus. In the New Testament, we see the Spirit working when people are newly joined with the Church and as one church body. So, I'll go back to my original question. How? Truly an easy answer there is for that. One word, five letters, faith. Another word answer, also five letters, grace. Again, for us to see it, we need to believe it. Faith. For me to believe that the Spirit came upon me and blessed me in that sacrament with grace and faith, I wholeheartedly had to the Spirit came upon me and blessed me with grace and faith. And to do that, I wholeheartedly must believe the Spirit had come upon me and blessed me with grace and faith. No, I didn't stutter. And one more time, to do that, I also needed to believe the Holy Spirit came upon me. And so on, and so on, and so on. I only needed to believe that the Holy Spirit ignited my faith and let it burn like the fire of baptism and Jesus' saving power. 
But the only way to feel that fire is to believe the Spirit ignites that flame and fans that flame into a blaze in our faith. So we can see the Spirit, maybe not as a dog or a tongue of fire, but in the hearts and lives of God's people. Not on the pages, certainly not. Not just I, but for us. And the Holy Spirit lives and works in the community of God's children. But we here at Emmanuel wish to see and show the world the Father's love, the gospel of peace, and the grace and faith provided by the Holy Spirit. And we must live it. I mean, we can't whip out our faith like a calling card and say, Hey, how you doing? John Burns, nice to meet you. Huh? God's family, blood, body, by through Christ and Spirit driven. And not live it out. In this world, in this time, anti church people, anti God people, <laughs> even Satan himself would love to see us declare that and not act, up, act upon it. Instant hypocrisy. Sure makes their job easy, huh? In my, in my naivety, I thought I had to see the Holy Spirit. But in my life, in our life, he was already there. I didn't need to see him. I already had. I mean, do you guys want to see the Holy Spirit? Try this. Live and commit to the gospel. Lead a spirit-led life or to lead and guide you or be around someone else who does. You will see the spirit at work and what can be accomplished. I mean, it's infectious. You get the spirit on you and working in you, I promise you too will live in fact and affect the world around you. The Holy Spirit becomes visible when we share the gifts he has given, exercising our faith and providing and using the grace he has given us. I mean, he'd be easy to see. Why am I dressed like this today? Because the Holy Spirit looks just like every one of us. Act and to live and to preach the gospel. I don't have to put a rope on because I'm not right. And so are you. The love and grace that we are given are not meant to be hoarded, to be put under a blanket or saved for a rainy day, or it's a, it's a mind thing. It's all mine. It's meant for community. And it's meant for moments and times like these. And good news when you share that. You will never run out. We have an endless supply. In fact, we'll gain. We'll gain new brothers and sisters. By sharing the good news and the workings of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. God's love and promise in our lives. And the saving power of the cross. We will show others God at work. That. That is our, our calling card. When people look at us and say, The Spirit. Wow. Wow. It sure is alive in them. I, I can't help being content or feeling loved when you're around them. I need to spend more time and learn how I can live that way. Or as the old hymn says, they will know we are Christians by our love. Being a disciple of Christ is not to be so burdensome as everyone says. No, nope, not me. The undeniable truth in that statement of no, not me. have we made it? I mean, do we represent the life Christ <coughs> has saved us? Do we walk around going, well, it's Sunday, never church to church. Sounded like you were. No worries, I'll just carry on. No fun for me. Do we know anybody like that? We shouldn't be that way. We should be glad, like we won the lottery. Hey, you'll never believe what I'm going to tell you. Christ died for me, and now I'm going to heaven one day. I hear and learn about Jesus every single Sunday. I can't wait to go. Hey, you want to come along? He died for you too, you know. Was that hard? No. Get excited. Enjoy the day with our brothers and sisters. I'm going to close today with a passage from Hebrews about the meaning of faith. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. 
In other words, faith is being sure of things we hope for and showing we are certain of what we do not see. That's the way of it. I mean, you don't need to eat a jelly donut to know it's sweet, do you? We don't need to touch the fire to know it's hot. We experience these things before. We just know. And God is like that. We just know. And we don't need to feel the wind. Or see a tongue of fire or a dove, a burning bishop, or a burning bush, or miracles to know our God, Savior and Protector. We know Jesus died for us and won our salvation. We know the Spirit is here with us, guiding us, if we allow Him to. Because, quite frankly, we've experienced Him before. Of those that love us in the real way. To those around us that love us in Christian love. Bye. 
Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come up to judge the living and the dead. I thank you, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is born out upon us in abundance. So that we are bold to pray for the church, the world, and all that God has made. By the Holy Spirit, you gather your church and send it out on a mission to share the good news of Jesus. Inspire your faithful people to be fervent in prayer and service. That all people know they are precious in God's sight. God of grace, hear our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> you reveal your love and power through water in spirit. Guard rivers, seas, and all bodies of water from destruction and pollution. Secure access to clean water for all. Protect the land from drought and flood. God grace. Hear our prayer. Establish among the nations the blessings of peace. Raise up leaders who will protect vulnerable people in their care. Strengthen advocates with risk, reputation, or retaliation. For the sake of mercy and justice, God of grace, hear our prayer. You protect us through the fires and troubled waters of this life. Assure us that we will not be cut off from you by illness or despair, anxiety or pain, confusion or weakness. Comfort all who are in need, especially Paul Anderson, Alex Nemeth, Linda Lamborn. Mary Delaney, Patricia Wall, Doris Baker, Debbie Scherf, Larry Shine, Holly Bernardi, Todd Erickson, Cindy Soli, Gregory Buckner, Lois Schultz, Joyce Maxwell, Marlene Piowski, Steve Cavallaro, Robbie Swin, Joanne Ferguson, Bishop Lozano. Lori Marcella, Lou Montai, Betty Crowley, Andy Pam Boyd, Ron Spencer, Dave Mays, family and friends of John Durham, and anyone we name. Mary Lou, Sherry and Dave Sterner, Greg Fisher, John Wickett. God of grace. Hear our prayer. We are joined in baptism to Christ and to one another. Bless those who are newly baptized and those who are preparing for baptism. Help us to be faithful in fellowship, worship, evangelism, service, justice seeking. God of grace. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. You create each of your saints for your glory. Give thanks to those you have called by name into your eternal grace. Comfort us in grief and release us from fear. God of grace. Hear our prayer. prayer. Since we have such great hope in your promises, O oh God, we lift these in all our prayers to you in confidence and faith through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And also with you. Peace be with you. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. But Thanksgiving, remember that in the night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave to the disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave for all the drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for remembrance of me. We are given assurance of our Lord's presence through the gift of this Holy Spirit. Now we bring to you the same bread of life, the same cup of blessing, that you may be strengthened through your participation in the body of Christ. Lord, remember us your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. By the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.